and I know that Amanda in her other lectures suggested uh, that we'd only have two, but I just want to spend a little bit more time uh, exploring some of the international and regional uh, policy and context. So that's what we're doing here. Internationally, I want to briefly touch on the Salamanca Statement and Framework for Action from UNESCO. So this is a summary of the Salamanca Statement and you'll see some key points here. Every child, fundamental right to education, must be given the opportunity to achieve. So this is the document that really underpins all of uh, inclusive education across the world. Uh, this is what we are supposed to be doing. So key point here, those with special education needs must have access to regular schools. Doesn't mean they have to attend them if that's not what the parents or the children want, but they must have access to them. And as Amanda has pointed out in her lectures about uh, the data, regular schools with inclusive orientation are the most effective means of uh, building a better society. So that's why we do what we do. So the, the next key element of our uh, legislative policy frameworks, etc., is the Melbourne Declaration. So this is all of the education ministers, state, federal and territory across the country, getting together in 2008 and making a declaration about what Australian schooling is and what we do. So there's the two goals there and, and some summary information. And what you'll see from the next slide is the update for that was the part we okay, I believe is how we pronounce that declaration so let's just see if I can uh, get this to work no I can't okay that's all right strongly encourage you to have a look at the Alice Springs and part we declaration and what you'll see is a little bit more detail. You'll notice that goal two has changed from the Melbourne Declaration. Um, and there's a bit more detail in the Atlas Springs Declaration about what we're doing. In the tutorial, the workshop this week, we're going to explore these six elements of the national agenda. Uh, so if you want to actually go to the PDF for this, you can click on all of those links and get a feel for what they are. Now, in terms of the ACT, we have two major documents that are driving our practice. The first of them is the future of education. Um, and so that's a 10 year plan that we're in, I think we're in year three, possibly year four um, of that process. So um, if you're going to be teaching in an ACT uh, government school, you need to know about the future of education. And in terms of inclusive practice in ACT schools, um, there's the, the link there for the students with disability. There is a great PDF uh, on that page that I strongly encourage you to download and get comfortable with. In New South Wales terms, the, as far as I'm aware, the equivalent to uh, future of education is the New South Wales Education Strategic Plan. Um, and you'll see that it's a very broad statement, all, all children, every student, and that the system is reducing the impact of disadvantage. And the New South Wales Inclusive Education Statement, you'll find from that link there and these are the key elements of inclusive education in the New South Wales 
Education Department. Okay, short, sharp and to the point.